Try and remember these letters. Too hard? Try again. Still too hard? Try one more time. Grouping letters together makes it easier to remember them. For our memory systems that we'll be learning today, we have echoic, iconic, short-term, long-term, and working memory. Echoic is an auditory memory. It is part of our sensory registers and also has a capacity slash duration of three to four seconds. Iconic memory is visual. It is also part of the sensory register as is echoic. And our capacity for this is much more than we know because everything our eyes see is in our capacity. We are just not able to recognize it all because of how much stimulation it actually requires. For short-term memory, chunking helps to remember things. As with phone numbers, we tend to chunk them like 913-832. And this also explains the beginning of our video with chunking the letters into typical groupings like LOL. Short-term memory also has a capacity of seven things plus or minus two, so you can either remember five, maybe nine. And then as explaining here, chunking helps with it. Information A is presented, and then information B is presented. When you are able to recall A information, it is RI, but when you're able to recall B information, it's PI. The primacy effect proves long-term memory because you are able to rehearse items long enough that they enter into long-term memory, while recency effect proves short-term memory because the most recent things memorized are remembered best. The central executive system is the supervisory control of the system. Then the phonological loop is the transient storage of verbal representations, which maintains active memory via rehearsal mechanisms. Visual spatial sketch pad is the transient storage of visual and spatial information and maintains active memory via rehearsal mechanism mechanisms. The episodic buffer is for um, transient storage of both verbal information and the visual and spatial representations. And this all goes into long-term memory, which is the permanent storage of integrated events. Working memory combines ideas from long-term memory with short-term memory to make it a more collaborative theory. Hopefully, after this review, you have a better understanding of all of our memory systems, which include iconic, echoic, 
short-term, long-term, and working memory. Thanks for watching today.